Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We just come together today, realize that we're living in a critical time, realize we need prayer in a time like this, and a lot of this virus and stuff is going on. The Lord been blessing us to take us through, through, through the valleys and stuff. And we like to come together and pray for one another because we're living in a lot of days now. Trouble time over every hand. We thank God and we are this. Could be another way. But God looked upon us and gave us another chance and another opportunity. And we had to know we come together and pray. Prayer changes things. And prayer will deliver in a time like this. Greet you, brothers and sisters, in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we thank God for a light head for strength. If it had not been for the Lord on our side in 2020, 2021, we hadn't have made it this far. Thank God for 2022. Um, and it came upon my heart that we come together and pray. Pray as uh, corporate for one another in a half of the whole, whole of our church of God, not the whole of our church of God only, for the saints of God, for the people of God, all over the whole world. Amen. The word of God declared, amen. What's the thing you desire? When you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have them. And it's in our heart that we need to come and pray. And have the spirit of unity, the spirit of love for the brothers and sisters everywhere. And I thank God for the one that's been obedient, take the part of this, for about church of God, corporate prayer. We thank God. We honor our uh, Zion Bishop, Bishop Freeman Marlin, and the Bishop staff, and everybody in the national position. Let's come, let's agree with us that we're going to pray that God will change things around. And man, we uh, we don't just don't want to complain, but we want to pray. The Bible says, Prayer of a righteous man, a village month. We want to see some change in, in, in our praying. We thank God for what God is going to do for 2022. And man, let's pray, let's come together, let's unify the body of Christ. Let's show some love through fasting and praying. Jesus told the disciples, deep things come by prayer and fasting. So if we want some changes to be made within our organization, within our home, our family, our own, our job, we got to pray that God will come in and see on our behalf. We thank God for this opportunity. We thank God that, amen, we keep on praying. We pray together, we gonna stay together. And we believe in God for that. And we thank God for this corporate prayer. We ask to, to, to if you can't be with us physical, but be with us spiritual. That you pray along with us that God can make a turnaround and that He will continue to bless this organization for many days and years to come. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank the Lord. We thank God for what He's already done. But today we see that God is about unity, togetherness, and love. And we see that it's coming short among even the believers on today. But we ask that God to cast out that Dinana spirit and bring us back to him. He said, come, come and reason together. We should come and encourage each other. We should be encourager. We should be uplifter to bring God people, bring families closer together. If we get family together in the home, then we can have it in the church because we should be like families in the church. Families love each other. Family can encourage each other. Family lifts up each other. Family can correct each other. And that is part of the, is missing today from the church. It seemed like that spirit wanted to separate and criticize instead of encourage. But we plead in the blood against it. The blood of Jesus come against every spirit 
that not of him, because we know God's spirit is love. He said, little children, love ye one another as I have loved you. And that's what we want God to do for us. Turn us back to his way. Turn us back to his word. Stay in the word, children. God's word is firm. God's word is truth. God's word is settled on earth and in heaven. And if we stand the word and just don't hear, be a hearer of it, but come on and let's be a doer of God's word. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to petition God and ask God to do that among us. Especially the believers. Be, that we may bring more souls into him. By encouraging that sinner man, that sinner woman that don't know him in the pardon of their sin. But they can look on us. And if we got our light shining in love, kindness, peace, together the unity, we can draw in the loss. And that's what Jesus said. He's, he want, he's calling today for true repentance. He tells Joy, Jeremiah, go down to the temple and cry out for true repenting. It's time for true repenting and true practicing what we preach, what we teach, what we say, who we say we are. Let's be that. Father God, in the name of Jesus, it's again we come before you on the day. First of all, we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. I have brought us and kept us in the name of Jesus. And we're giving you glory, praise, and honor on today. In the name of Jesus. Ask you forgive us for all our shortcomings and our sin. In the name of Jesus. And God, we just love you today. And we just want to praise you for all that you have already done. And we thank you for that that you're going to do. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want you asking you in your, in Jesus' name. Continue to look on your people, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, with all the confusion that's going on in the world, we know that you still, God, look on families everywhere that God today, naturally and spiritual, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, build them up where they are torn down. Strengthen them where they're weak. And God, we ask you to do it for them. Turn the husband, the wife, their affection back to one another. Build up home with the children, teaching them in the right way. Oh God, give them the strength. These are the mothers that are raising these children by herself. Give her the strength she need, God, to stand firm and teach him your word to fathers too, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for families all around the world today. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God, do it for them. Bring them back together. So many is falling apart. They're dividing it. Oh, and all this confusion. But we ask you in the name of Jesus, bind that spirit that come to separate families and bring them back to you. More you, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for it, right? And glory to God, hallelujah. Because families, families build homes. Families build, help to come into church and build it together. Oh God, do it for us. Bring us back to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you and glorify you for it. We believe it by faith. Every spirit that not of you, in the name of Jesus, cast it back to the pits from which it come. And let your people love one another. Be concerned about each other. Care about each other. And appreciate more your love, your unity, your together. In the name of Jesus. God, do it for us. Do it for us. Do it for your people today, God. All at glory to God all around the continent. And we thank you for it. We believe it by faith. In Jesus' name, we asking you to do it. Families, God. Mm, our natural families, spiritual families. Oh, glory to God. 
do it for us in the name of Jesus. And we won't fail to continue to give your name the praise for it. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let's pray. We're going to pray for all the churches, not just here in this organization, but all the whole world and the whole universe. We're praying for every pastor, every bishop, every apostle, every vain, every teacher. It's a part of the church and part of the body of Christ, the kingdom of God. We're praying. We're going to pray for every church that God will move and intercede. And that he continue to bless us and bring us out as a nation. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call your holy and righteous name. As we stand before you in your presence, we pray that the Spirit of God, Spirit of Liberty, will fall upon every church that's in this world. Lord, we know the enemy is coming against. The Bible says no weapon form against the shut problem. But God, we believe in every church that that's standing on the solid foundation of Christ that you will bring them out, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless every leader, God, that's in the church, God. Every pastor, God, in the name of Jesus. Every bishop, every apostle, God, and every member of every church, God, touch right now, God. God, it seems like we're on a wrong path, but God, we believe, God, you will bring us out, God. Touch every church, God, in the name of Jesus. Let's love one another, God, in our different churches, in the name of one, God. God, you, in your word of God, you say, we can pray ye for one another. God, I pray that you bless every church in the United States, every church in the nation, every church all over the world, in the name of Jesus, God. And God, it's in, the, in our heart that you will change things around, that we will turn our face toward you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, we know that the enemy is trying to divide us, trying to separate us, God. But God, we pray. You told Peter, we pray that the, that the devil won't sip you as we God. We don't want the saint to be sifted, God. But pray, God, we praying for every church, for healing, for deliverance, for salvation, God. In the name of Jesus. Hear our cry, God. And God, we thank you for God for how you're going to move and turn things around. In the name of Jesus, God. Somebody's in the church that feel like they're lonely. Well, God, let them know that they are part of the body of Christ. Every member is important. Bless the churches, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Hear our cry on this day. And God, we're looking for a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Move on our behalf, God. Keep every pastor encouraged in the name of Jesus. Touch every church, every God, everywhere, God. For in Jesus' name, this is my prayer, and it shall be done. Amen and thank the Lord. My soul loves Jesus. Oh, my soul loves Jesus. Oh, my soul loves Jesus. God bless his name my soul oh God oh my soul love Jesus oh God oh my soul oh my soul love Jesus oh my soul Love Jesus, bless, bless his name. He's a wonder, oh, in my soul, oh, he's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless, ah God, bless His name.
precious Father God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just want to come and tell you thank you right now. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you God for being a good God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you are Alpha God. Oh God, you are Maker God. Oh God, you the beginning in the end God. And I just want to take the time God. Oh God, to tell you thank you. Oh God, you gave your only son God. And Jesus laid down his life God. He shed his blood, God, on Calvary Cross, God, for all the sins of the world, God. And God, that's enough to tell you thank you. Oh, God, we ask you right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, go in the hospital right now, God. Oh, God, somebody need a touch right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we intercede, God, for somebody right now, God. Oh, God, somebody right now. Now, God, oh God, they need a miracle right now. They need a healing right now, God. A divine healing, God. We ask you, Lord God, to loose your divine healing, God, on somebody right now, God. Somebody body's in pain, God. Oh God, we know you can, God. And God, we know you will. Oh God, we know God huh, that you still work in miracles. Huh? Oh God, somebody need a miracle right now. Huh? Oh God, in the name of Jesus, huh? loose your healing virtue, God. Huh? Oh God, huh? we ask you, Lord God, huh? I don't know God, huh? but you know God. Huh? We ask you, Lord God, huh? to look on somebody. Huh? I feel it in my spirit, God. Huh? Somebody named Marie, God. Huh? We ask you, Lord God, to touch. Huh? She He's having pain in the body. Huh? Oh God, huh? we know you's a healer right now, God. Huh? We ask you, Lord God. Huh? Oh God, I hear you, God. Huh? Look on somebody named Jeffrey, God. Huh? They's having back trouble. Huh? Oh God, in the name of Jesus, huh? heal right now, God. Huh? Oh God, huh? loose your divine healing, God. Huh? Oh God, you said in your word, God. Huh? In songs one oh three God huh? that you heal it all our disease huh? look on this brother named Jeffrey God huh? we ask to you Lord God huh? he's having trouble with his mic God huh? sin on deliverance God huh? holla on both side huh? loose your healing anointing huh? loose your healing power God huh? on somebody named God huh? oh God touch right now huh? somebody named Beth God huh? we ask to you Lord God huh? She's having trouble with her throat, God. Huh? We ask you, Lord God, to go in right now, God. Huh? God, go in that vocal cord. Huh? We ask you, Lord God, to heal it. Huh? We know you's a healer, God. Huh? And we know you's a deliverer. Huh? God, you said in Isaiah, God. Huh? 53 and 5, God. Huh? You said by your stripes. Huh? Oh, God, we are healed. Huh? Loose it right now, God. Huh? We know you's a healer, God. Huh? You said in your word, God, huh? in Exodus 15 and 26, huh? I am the Lord God, huh? the healing thee, God. Huh? So many people are going through God huh? with sickness, God. Huh? We coming against this God, huh? this COVID-19. Huh? Oh, God, huh? in the name of Jesus, huh? look on somebody huh? by the name of Marie right now. Huh? She's having breathing problems. Huh? Oh, God, with the COVID. Huh? We ask you, Lord God, huh? to loose your divine healing. Huh? Oh, God, touch the breathing. Huh? Oh, God, open up the airway, God. Huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? you are a healer, God. Huh? You are a deliverer, God. Huh? Oh, God, 
God. When Peter's mother-in-law was sick, God, Jesus, he healed her, God. We know you's a healer, God. Oh, God, somebody named Bob, God, has got a high fever, God. We asking you, God, to bring it down to normal. You are a healer, God. Oh, God, somebody, God, turn it around, God. A divine turnaround. Oh, God, on your people right now, God. So many are going through, God, with this sickness, God, with the health, God. We coming against God. High blood pressure. We cast it down the normal right now. Oh, God, we coming against cancer. We curse it, God, from the very root, God. Loose your divine healing. Oh, God, go in the root of it. Oh, God, cast it out. You are a healer, God. And we thank you, God, because we believing on your word, God. We standing on your word, God. You heal me, God. Heal right now, God. Let it go out, God, in every hospital. Oh, God. Move by your power, ha. move by your anointing, ha. let your healing virtue ha. go out in every hospital, ha. on every sick person, God, ha. oh God, ha. the woman in Isha blood, ha. she said if I could just touch ha, the hem of his garment, ha. she said I know God, ha. I'll be made whole, ha. and somebody God, ha. need a touch right now, God, ha. in the name of Jesus, ha. I'm picking up in my spirit, ha. Somebody named Luther, God, ha. He need a touch, ha. Just one touch, God, ha. He called Shana Bosai, ha. Loose your healing virtue, ha. Let it go into him, God, ha. Something concerning his stomach, God, ha. Oh, God, ha. Go in the inner being, God, ha. Heal for your glory, God, ha. We know. God, ha. we know God, ha. you are a healer, God, ha. oh God, ha. the whole nation, God, ha. need a healing, God, ha. bless our children, God, ha. they're going through so much sickness, God, oh God, ha. touch them right now, God, ha. bless our little children, God, they're sick and they're shutting, God, everywhere, God, ha. all over the nation, God, and God help us, God. To learn to trust you more, God. Hallelujah, Sunday. God, to lay hands on ourselves, God. God, call for the elders of the church, God. Help us, God, to trust you and believe in your word. God, you are a healer. You are a deliverer. Bless your people right now, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, my Jesus, my Precious Shepherd Pastor Jackson, to Bishop Marson, to Bishop Christian, Bishop Quick, to the wise, and to the Holy Bible Church of God, all God's children. I thank God for the opportunity to talk on prayer. I thank God because I know what prayer can do. Prayer is a very important part of a Christian life. I thank God because the Bible tells us Luke say. Pray without ceasing. In other words, pray without giving up or without letting go. 
I thank God because I know, I truly know what prayer can do. I recall many, many in the Bible that prayed. But most of all that sticks out with me is Jesus, our big brother. The Bible said that he prayed, my God, oh glory to God, in the God of Gethsemane. He prayed and prayed and prayed to the Bible says that the blood, drops of sweat was like blood falling to the ground. He did that for you, me, and the entire nation because he hadn't done no wrong. So if Jesus prayed, what about you and I? My God. Hebrew let us know that he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh, my God. Talking about prayer. My God, my God. Prayer is powerful. And it's just simply talking to God and letting God talk back to you. Oh, glory to God. I thank God for prayer. Because prayer is what got me here. Oh, glory to God. When I think about my God, my mother, hallelujah, Jesus, told me when I was a little younger, my God, that the enemy tried to take me out as a little baby. But y'all, I'm still here. 68 years old. Nobody but God. I thank God. Oh, glory to God. I thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Because you can stand on the word of God. And the word tells us to pray. When God, when Jesus told us, that when we pray, pray in, pray in the name of the Father, in the name of Jesus, and He will answer our prayers. So when we pray, be sincere. Oh, glory to God. It doesn't matter where you at. You can be on your knees, my God. You can be sitting as like I am. Oh, glory to God. Washing dishes. Oh, my God. Washing clothes, drying clothes. It doesn't matter. In my car, I spent times and times and times in my car. And I thank God for prayer. I thank God. Hallelujah. It's so much I can say on prayer. But I know time won't allow me to span and go on and on and on. So just a few I want to let you know what God has done for me by praying. You see, I've been married to my husband 37 years. In June 18, it would be 38. When I married him in 1983, he had four girls, my God, little girls, from two to nine years old. Oh, glory to God. And then in 1986, God blessed us with a little boy. I also had a little girl, 18 months old. Talking about five girls and one boy at 30 years old. But God did it. Nobody but God. Did a lot of praying. Did a lot of fasting. And yes, I did a lot of crying. But God took me through. I thank God. Hallelujah for prayer. Going on, my God. I can truly say that God has blessed me. Oh, my God. Been through many, many issues in my life. Thinking about lately. My God, back in 19, 2013 of August, an orange drive hit by a transfer, 18-wheeler transfer truck. And y'all know what's so amazing about that? I didn't even feel the impact. I feel like God took my, oh my God. My spirit just rise up. And I didn't feel anything. Until they was around me saying you have been hit by a train for a truck. But God, a little bump on the head, a little cut on the arm. That's all. But the 1994 Honda Accord was demolished. Nobody but God. That's prayer, y'all. See, don't wait until something happened. Pray before, my God. When you get up in the morning, anoint your head, anoint your eyes, anoint your ears. Just anoint your entire body as I do. Woo, my God. Uh, and prayer will take care of you throughout that day. But you got to believe. 
and you got to have faith. And I thank God. Because I tell you, when Pastor Jackson put me over prayer at Murphy Chapel, my God, on Tuesday, 9 o'clock in the morning, my prayer life just expanded. And I thank God for her today. Because I know it won't nobody but God to ask her to do that. And when I done that, it just helped me with my faith in prayer the more. I thank God. I thank God, hallelujah, my God, for my husband, my children, my entire family, even the Holy Bible Church of God. Because when you pray, you just don't pray for your family. You pray for the entire nation, your pastor, your church family. You pray for everybody. My God. And believe God going to do just what you ask him to do. That's the kind of God we serve. I don't believe in him even now. Little trouble going on with my legs. Yes, 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 yes. But that's all right. Because I got some more dancing to do. So I know I'm healed. Oh my God. Going to do what the doctors tell me to do. Because pastor teaches us that God put doctors here too. So I'm going to obey them. But y'all watch out because I'm coming back strong on these legs. And I'm going to dance. Gosh, yeah, yeah. My God, my God. Woo, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to be like David. I'm not going to dance out my clothes, but I'm going to dance, y'all. And those that want to join in with me is welcome. Because I'm believing God for some miracles. Not only for me, but for the entire nation. Because we're standing in the need of prayer. Pray, church. Oh, my God. If you're praying, keep on praying. If you're not praying, pray. Because if it's ever time to pray, it's now. God bless you. Oh, my God. And I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, even now, for listening to this prayer. And I thank God, even now. We thank you, Father God. And we ask you to continue to have your way in my life and others, God. Continue to remember the entire Holy Bible Church of God. Bishop Marson, Mother Marson. Oh, God, the bishops. Pastor Jackson, my family, families all around the nation. My God, the president of his cabinet. Remember your people everywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare nothing but victory. And I give him the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Blessings to everyone that's watching this uh, view, uh, the telecom. We uh, thank God for you tuning in this day, uh, a prayer. Uh, because if you notice, uh, we're living in a time of prayer. Prayer changes things. Prayer, amen, brings us to the light of God. And we find ourselves, amen, as Christians, dwelling in from the foundation and from the standards, amen, that God requires of us, amen, because of the pandemic, because of our tribulations, our trials, Amen. Because of many things, amen. Amen. We fail to pray like we used to. And so let us go back, amen, especially in our minds and in our souls, uh, strengthening our minds and freeing our minds and souls, amen, to the point that we're able to go back to that foundation of prayer, amen, of deliverance and of the mind and of the soul. It's, it's an easy thing to, amen, tell people how to live and tell people how to pray, but when it comes down to the fact of you doing it yourself, amen, we find ourselves, amen, figure we got it made, we done prayed enough, amen, we done fasted enough, we done taught enough, but no, amen, we need to go back to the old landmark of prayer and fasting so that the mind and the soul of the body will be delivered, amen, from the situations of life that the enemy throws in our way. And let us begin to pray, amen. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for allowing us this evening, this day that you have made. And we ask you, oh God, as we open up this prayer of the mind, God, that you bring deliverance to our mind, that where there's confusion, God, that you, God, rightly divide and bring a balance in our life. Bring, amen, circumspect in our life, God, that we may be able God, to understand right and wrong, and that we'll be able to make sound decisions, not of the heart, but of the mind, 
so that we'll be able to, God, be good counselors and good advisors to those that have just come, God, into the kingdom work. We pray, oh God, that, God, you go to the seat of our mind, the seat of that confusion, and we ask you, oh God, to break it down, pull it down, tear it down, God, in the precious name of Jesus, God. We ask you, oh God, to, wherever the confusion started, God, whatever storm, whatever God's situation started the storm, built up the clouds and started the rain to come in our life of our mind. God, we come against it, God, and we ask you to give us a clear day, God, in the name of Jesus. We know, God, we've been endured for the night, but joy cometh in the morning, God. And we ask you, oh God, to give us that joy, oh God, that surpasses all understanding, God, that peace of mind in the name of Jesus, God. We, we reject every storm. We reject every, oh God, confused heart, confused mind that the enemy is trying to implant in our lives. And God, we bind it in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you, oh God, not to allow the enemy to distract us, not allow the enemy, oh God, to confuse us in any type of way, God. As we journey, God, for kingdom work, we ask you, oh God, to, oh God, build a foundation of love around our mind. Oh God, that we may receive your touch, that we may receive your divine word, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And those thoughts that's uncontrollable, God, those thoughts that we cannot God, control. We ask you, oh God, to come in our hearts, come in our minds, God. God, and touch right now in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to rid us, God, of evil thoughts, God, of, oh God, a mind to sin. Oh God, a mind to be distracted, God, and a mind, God, to let others control our hearts, God. For God, you give us, oh God, a sound mind. Give us that mind, God, that's in Christ Jesus, our Lord. In your precious name, God. And we ask you, oh God, to scatter into pieces every evil imagination. We ask you, oh God, to pierce it asunder, God. Let it not be God in our hearts or in our mind or in our soul, God. We come against all evil imagination in the name of Jesus. And we command all imagination, God, that's contrary to your word, God. Contrary to our prayer life, God. Contrary, oh God, that it be defeated in the name of Jesus. That it be destroyed and cast down, God, and brought to nothing. Oh God, and we ask you to immune our spirit, God. Immune our hearts, our soul, oh God, to those imaginations that the devil brings, God, in our hearts to cause us to sin against you, God, to cause us to go to straight. We ask you, oh God, oh God, just to defend us, God, be a hedge around us in the precious name of Jesus. And we ask you, God, every stronghold, we ask you, we're pulling them down now. Every evil imagination, God, we're pulling them down, God. Oh God, we ask you, oh God, just to, God, cover our lives, God, because the enemy is throwing out evil imaginations planting strongholds over our lives. And we ask you, oh God, to conceal us, God. We ask you, God, to cover us, God, in these last days, God, with the, the power of prayer, God, with the power, God, of your anointing, in the name of Jesus, God, because we know there's no greater than you, God. And we ask you, God, as we come against evil imagination and anything that's been spoken against us god anything that's been plotted against us god we ask you oh god give us not the mind oh god to allow them to control us god give us not the mind allow them god oh god to allow us to surrender to him god but we purpose in our heart god in our mind and in our soul god that we be delivered god that our mind be stayed on you god and that our soul god be turned away from hell god that it be turned away from sin god that it be turned away from evil imagination god in our minds and we ask you oh god to just give us the spirit of love the spirit of a sound mind god give us the spirit of peace God, as we go and travel these last and evil days, God, we thank you, God, for your goodness, God. We thank you, God, for all things that you have given us, God. We ask you, oh God, not to water down, oh God, our lives, our mind, and our soul, oh God, but strengthen it, God, through prayer, God. Strengthen our mind through prayer, God. Strengthen our soul through prayer, God, that we might not sin against you, God, in these last days, God. We ask you, oh God, those that are saved, that they claim salvation tonight, God, that they claim it in their hearts and in their minds, and that they say, Lord, I want you to save me, God. Forgive me of my sins, God. 
Oh, God, we ask you to forgive them in the name of Jesus. Bless the organization, God, the Holy Bible Church of God, God. Let the Holy Bible Church of God have the mindset of you, God, that you have set in your son, Jesus Christ, God. And let, God, the souls that are within it, God, not be destroyed or controlled, oh, God, by evil imagination or by the wiles of the devil, God. But let us be as one and come together, God. Walk by the same walk, talk by the same talk, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll come with hands clasped together, God, that nothing will be able to come in, oh, God, in our minds and destroy it, God. But we have been shielded by your blood, God, as you have covered us in the name of Jesus. We pray these blessings upon your people, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, God, may God bless you. May God keep you. Remember, shield your mind, cover your mind, put prayer over your mind that it may shield it and keep it in these days that we're living in and keep your soul directed to heaven. Amen. Don't let, allow your soul to find, to get up into a lot of sin and a, a lot of uh, 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 ungodly acts and uh, allow your mind to be strayed on the word and not strayed on the world itself because uh, it's getting later than you think it is. Amen. And as the old folks say in the old days, the sun is almost down. God bless you. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. We honor the Lord on tonight to our great leader, our senior bishop, Bishop Morrison, to my pastor, the Queen Mother, Pastor Jackson, all of the officials that take the make up this Holy Bible Church of God. We honor you on tonight. And we just praise God for another day that we can come and offer up prayer on tonight. The state of the nation is in trouble about now. And things is going to change only through prayer. So we want you to go with us tonight as we go into prayer and pray for our government. Pray for our nations. Pray for our mayors, our police departments, that things will change according to the will of God. Let's go to God in prayer. Precious God, in the name of Jesus, we come on this night to tell you thank you, God. We thank you, God, because you're a good God. We thank you because you're a merciful God. We thank you because you're a loving God. You're a God that's never lost a battle. You're a God that can do anything but fail. Now, God, you see this great nation, one nation under God. You see it, God, and you know what's going on, God. In this time of pandemic, God, Everything, God, is acting up. You see, God, the president of the United States, God. You see every political office, God. The Senate, God. The Congress, God. You see Democrats and Republicans, God. We ask you, oh God, to let us get together, God. Many members, God, but one nation, many cities, God. Many states, God. Oh God, but bring us together, God, for divine Hallelujah, we will not stand up. Together we stand up and divided we fall up. God, you see up the wars and rumors of wars that's going on right now. We ask you, God, to intervene, God, for God, there's nothing too hard for you, God. There's nothing that you can't do, God. So we're reaching out to you, God, to intercede right now, God. You see Fayetteville, North Carolina, God. Oh, God. 
of this great United States uh, of America. And we thank you. We give you praise. Uh, we give you glory. We give you honor. And this is my prayer, God, uh, that I give to you, God, uh, and walk away uh, not doubting anything, uh, but believing you uh, are going to work a miracle. You're going to work uh, the impossible. And we tell you thank you in the name of the Father. Thank you uh, in the name of the Son. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Uh, this we ask uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. Amen. Uh, we hope and trust uh, that you are blessed on tonight. Uh, we hope and trust uh, that you feel that uh, the anointing uh, and the joy on tonight. Uh, walk in victory and love the Lord. Uh, we thank God. Uh, be encouraged. Amen. In St. Mark, the 11th chapter, and beginning at the 22nd verse, I'm going to read, read there. And Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For I say to you, that who should ever say to, say to this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, that should not doubt in his heart, but he shall believe those things which I say shall come to pass, he shall have what else he says. And the 24th verse say, Therefore I say to you, What things so ye desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. We pray right now, our heart desire, that God will heal the land. God will bring us back and unify us one in the body of Christ. We praying that God will remove this mountain, uh, the mountain of depression, mountain of disease. You know, a lot of people is going through mental state. But we praying that God will come in the midst of us and remove this mountain. And I'm believing God that we come together and pray and be on one accord. We can see the move of God. The Spirit of God can move in all of our churches and all who they can hear what does say the Lord. And I'm praying that we don't doubt. Let's have faith. Let's have faith that God gonna bring us back together and have the spirit of love and unification. Quit mumming and complaining. Quit doubting the hand of work with God. For God here turn around. The word of God says, when you pray, not after you pray, but when you pray, believe that you shall receive them. And I believe in God for the year 2022 come out, that these things are gonna be turned around in our movement. I believe in God, God can continue to touch and heal body, say so, bring on deliverance and change life. And I trust in God that we come, let's pray. Pray ye for one another, that your joy may be filled. James said, prayer of a righteous man, a village mother. We gotta be very firm and trust in God in our prayer. And I believe in God for a move of God. The word of God say, have faith in God. We trust in what man may say, man uh, may uh, depend on uh, sciences to make a decision with what we should do, what we ought not do, but we gonna obey, but we still gonna trust God. For the Bible, the word of God declared, and we trust in him, we can speak to the mountain, and the mountain gotta be moved from this place. So we're saying tonight, we want everybody to have faith from the least to the greatest. Let's continue pray. Let's pray. We don't want to be praying and don't believe God. Let's pray without ceasing. Just don't stop praying, but let's continue to pray. And I thank God for a change going to come. And I believe in God for every preacher and every pastor, every evangelist that God will work in every church in this movement, that we can see their love and their affection, that God going to change this thing around in the name of Jesus. And I thank God for this opportunity. And I thank God for this place, uh, having the opportunity to, to share what's on my heart. We need to pray, saints. We need to quit complaining. You know, the children of Israel would have been delivered out of wilderness long and death when they complained against the man of God. And complaining is not going to bring us out. It's going to take prayer to bring us out. And we're going to keep wondering if we don't uh, trust God. 
So let's quit wondering what, who going to do this, who going to believe that. Let's believe God t together. Let's have faith and trust God that God going to change things around. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Let's trust God and believe God that he's going to do what he said. His word, his word will fulfill his promise. We thank God for this space of time, and I pray that God bless everyone. Continue to bless the bishop staff, the national official, all the one that is part of the organization, and every home to represent our organization. Let's pray that God bless. Bless our young people. Bless our older saints. And bless all together. Because we're going to pray together that we can stay together. In Christ's name we pray. We believe in God for that, for a turnaround. Have faith in God. All you need is faith in God. God bless you. We believe in God. going to turn 2022 around in the half of the whole about church of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you said all thank you. Thanks. God tend to bless us, Lord. Realize we stand in need of prayer. And we know it's no distance in prayer. Lord, remember the sick and afflicted there where today, God. Realize you're able to do all things, God. You got all power in your hand, God. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to lift you up and give you the praise. We thank you, Lord, how you're going to take us through on today. And, Lord, if we see the sick, remember them in a special way today, God. We don't know name or name, but, Lord, you see your nose all today. Touch them right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. God Almighty God. Hallelujah. I thank God for His hand is still on the wall. Hallelujah. I got victory over way in there. And here I can do. Give me no harm. Hallelujah. I think about this year and last year. I didn't end it Hand it down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I turn. I cry. I'm the ball. Yeah. 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 Ye